Well, soldier. Here we are. It worked. My engines calmed down. I shouldn't have let you come here. This isn't going to be easy, you know. Zara's going to come at us with everything she's got. Gods. Like clockwork. They'll be on us soon. But there's just enough time. <laughs> Thought I was done with these. But then, there was you. Imps are fast, but careless. Don't let them tire you out. Just get rid of them. And don't forget... <sighs> you asked for this. Better let these fuckers know I'm back. And this time, I'm not alone. Six months have passed since you defeated the Netherbrain. And since then, you have seen more of life than you ever thought possible. You are greeted as a savior, a champion, a hero. But sometimes you feel like something else entirely. An adventurer, a traveler, a survivor. You faced down the gods. You thwarted the grand design. Anything seems possible. But before you can write the next chapter of your story, you must end this one. That's why you're going back to where all of this began, answering an invitation to gather with your allies and friends. Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. <laughs> now the revelry can truly begin. Feared. You need 
thing I fear is the ever-growing size of your ego, Gale. Altara. It hurts to be so misunderstood by my oldest friend. Aha! There you are, my mortal friend. I hoped I'd see you here. I imagine this must be quite a shock. Whatever you're feeling, do not be afraid. Still me, just an improved version. Forget you? Never. <laughs> I'm afraid time works quite differently in Elysium. I didn't realize how long I'd been gone until I received Wither's summons. I imagine you're wondering how all this came to be. The finer points of Divine Ascension are beyond mortal comprehension, I'm afraid, but I can provide a rudimentary sequence of events. First, I retrieved the crown of Carsus and reforged it using a series of precise and highly complex Netherese incantations. Then, I used it. As you know, the orb within me was the half-formed Carsite Weaver. Magic left incomplete by Carsus's self-destruction. I finished it. Using the crown of Carsus, I turned it into a new form of magic, fused with my being, driven by my purpose. And then I put it to work. As expected, Mistra was unwilling to hand over the reins of the weave, so... I've claimed dominion over another area which I've... passing familiarity. Ambition. Secure. At the heart of my domain. Protected by all the powers at my disposal. I can't say this much for now. Mistra is welcome to her dominion. My aims are set a little higher than offering cursory blessings to just any half-decent spellcaster. I exist not to bestow favors on my followers, but to inspire them to seize their destinies for themselves, exactly as I did. I'm their proof. Proof their hopes are not barren wastes, but the loamy soil in which their future achievements will flourish. Proof that with ambition, anything is possible. Precisely. Though, that isn't to say I'm averse to the odd bit of direct encouragement. A whisper in the ear of a struggling artisan. A breeze to flutter the pages of a tome before a frustrated mage. A magical weapon stumbled upon by a desperate would-be hero. I am ambition incarnate. As indistinguishable from that most potent sensation as Mistra herself is from the weave. And word is spreading. There are already several shrines in my honor scattered across the outer reaches of Thay, and rumors of a very prominent temple under construction in Arm. This is only the beginning. I see you won't be claiming the domain of patience in the heavens. All in good time, my love. For now, mortality has one more night of enjoyment in store. Haven't you any ambitions, Tara? I could help you, you know. Mm. Yeah, this seems oh, good, but, uh, at what cost? Not even close. A prayer or two would suffice. <laughs> That's so bad. The past made present. I'm glad for it. For this. Old friend. For two months I trained the Knights of the Comet. For two more I skewered Kithraki bellies. And for two more yet, I traveled through Limbo. But to see your face, 
It brings me even more pleasure than taking a royal inquisitor's head. We've spilled blood, gained a foothold in the astral, but still we need allies. And one beyond reckoning has made itself known. Zerith Minyaragith. Not a what, but a who. The immortal god king of the Githzerai. An exiled people. Once king with mine, until the madness of civil war ripped our one sky into two. Our Gish sent word of the rebellion to Minyara Gith through the cosmos. He's agreed to parlay. It's fallen to me to secure an alliance. Exactly the reaction I expected. My blade is keen as ever. But it was you who showed me that a proper victory doesn't always require a razor-sharp edge. Sometimes, a sincere plea is more persuasive than a dagger against the neck. Minyara Gith is an ascetic. He reached out in good faith. This is his way. It is in this spirit that I must meet him. And if he refuses, I carry on. Gravity pulls me in but one direction. I am the Comet. I will not rest until I burn Vlacket's bones to ash and smash her phylactery to pieces. My people will be free. But you've heard that refrain before. Zealous, bossy, insistent. All part and parcel of my undeniable charm. I suppose it is, rather. I'm just glad to be here at all. It's taken a dozen Gish's talents, a few stolen Psy crystals, and two ten days of effort to conjure my projection. Worth it, I'd say. I miss this place. This... Uh, Fey run. More to the point, I missed you. But I'll be back to see you again when the comet has risen, as surely as Kalir will forever circle the sun. Rack. I'd take rats over this any day. There you are, my friend. Breathe deep. Can you smell it? You take in every scent the night breeze carries. Sweet honeysuckle, tender violets, and an earthy fragrance you can't quite recognize. Forest trees draped in moss, bittersweet, smoky, and that faintest hint of vanilla. A far cry from the rancid Avernus heat that's been clogging my lungs. I swear, the three of us have felled enough Cambians to build a fortress with their horns. Who would have thought that just one of those fiends held the key to escaping Avernus for good? And get this, if those blueprints we found work, I could reverse engineer my stone eye. Instead of Mazora tracking me, I could track her. It's past time for her old pet to sink in his fangs. I think the splinters I made out of the last bone devil I saw speak for themselves. 
Not to pat myself too hard on the back, but I'm not such a bad ranger if I do say so myself. I've seen him more than a few times, and he's as proud of me as I am of him. He's leading the city's renewal, opened the gates to all newcomers, rebuilt the council from scratch, and he's back in his element, commanding the flaming fist with brave heart and no shortage of empathy. The likes of Gortash can bend people's minds with a few chosen words. No tadpole needed. Bane's chosen primed the fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow, that cruelty was the correct answer to crisis. With a few exceptions, fathers pardoned every last fist. If my forgiveness not be tears will, so be it. I shall forgive them all the same. His words, not mine. He still believes in the bow and the blade, but he's teaching the fist a new lesson. Well, that's enough hell talk for the moment. The night's young. You shouldn't go wasting it. Or wasting any of the wine, for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oh, did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. Ah, cool, fresh air. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He wasn't kidding. Where is your mad bastard? You brought us back! <laughs> Commander Zula won't know where the fuck we went! <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait to say hi to everyone. Look at them, the beauts. Rest up, soldier. My tin can will be all right for the night. And you and me will get to sleep with both eyes shut for the first time in six months? <sighs> then again, maybe we won't sleep at all. Me too, my love. See you soon. Come here, you goon. A night in her, I think. Any trouble, and I'll toddle back off to hell quick as you please. Oh, hey, before you go, I've been thinking about those blueprints we found. Zariel's probably got a load of Cambians guarding that forge. I'm sure she knows I want in. She'll do anything to stop me from fixing this thing. I might have an in with one of the guards, though. An old acquaintance called Flo. Not sure she'll help us, but. Maybe. We might get to come home permanently. Maybe even sooner than we think. He's going to kill me, isn't he? Not the big mad bastard. The hamster. Good song, good company, and good wine from the looks of it. Oh. Ah, my dear friend, it's been an age, has it not? You're looking very well indeed. Our skeletal friend will be very pleased to see I found my way here, despite my invitation getting lost in the post. Oh, 
Oh, I wouldn't bother you with such things during a party. And anyway, I've gotten quite good at replicating your signature, so you needn't even bother with the release form. You might help me with the title, though. I'm considering the hero and me. What do you think? I, me, it's all Volo as far as I'm concerned. Perhaps once the manuscript is finished, you'd even be willing to write a foreword? Or better yet, I'll write a draft and you can just sign your name. Better still, I'll sign it for you, hmm? Ah, your success really has been wonderful for my reputation. But you mustn't let me hog your attention all night, my friend. You've many friends to chat to, and I'd love to listen in. Oh, it's just so God's damn beautiful here. A beautiful night. I wish it could last. Well, now. You can make yourself presentable when you have a mind to. Oh, forgive me. I am simply excitable. It is good to be out under an open sky once more. My first, since the reconstruction began. We left quite a mess behind. But the city begins to look something like itself once more. Same twisting alleys for purse pickers. Same wooden buildings ready to get burnt by next year's dragon. Same cisterns overflowing? Huh. I knew an Everescan Grey Cloak who would say, Baldur's Gate will be the death of me. But I can't say it doesn't hold all of life. Baldurians simply... get on with it. <laughs> Stubbornness. Civic spirit. Plain stupidity. Perhaps all three. But nothing I will sniff at any longer. Harpers have come from half the world over to lend aid. Farmers, masons, healers. My own son, Jord, has been wooed to their ranks. Already he plans crop cycles in Worms Crossing. Not so for my daughter. Ryan's rejoined the Flaming Fist. Temporarily, you understand. To organize the craftsmen. Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing eight ones. They might learn a thing or two if they don't expel her. Again. Ah, there is still much to do. People to house. A Harper network to rebuild. I may have little love for this city. But so long as my family chooses to serve it... I can do no less. For all your travels. I hope you have arrived where you want to be. Home. Whatever that means to you. Garlak is lucky to have you. And know that you are not forgotten. If your friends don't drag you from the hells, it will only be because you freed yourself first. But there will be more to discuss on that matter. First, I must inspect the refreshments. You'll never know. Some ne'er-do-well might have tampered with the wine. You would think someone of my vintage would be inured to the passage of time. Yet these past six months have seemed endless without your company. 
But now, our paths cross once more. <laughs> Just as I hoped they would, more like. The Oak Father has been kind to me this past while. Yet I cannot forget the bond we all forged together. It is one that can weather any distance, any passage of time. I know it can, for I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. I always do. Should I ever decline, assume a doppelganger has taken my place. That was more than worth the wait. How thoughtless of me. Come here. Is. That is what I've been missing. Now, we have much to catch up on. Do not allow me to ramble on. I am eager to hear all you've been doing. Please, spare no details. I shall not lie. I have an ulterior motive in wishing to hear all. It is the children you see. My charges. Their appetite for bedtime tales is greater than I could ever have anticipated. Another story, Daddy Halsin. Another is the chorus that greets me each nightfall. They have all but exhausted my repertoire in but a few short months. No mean feat to give them the lifetime I have lived. I desperately need new material, please. My reputation is at stake. Ha! You would ask to be tucked in next. But whatever the intrepid adventurer needed, I would have been glad to provide. More than a few, I should think. At least I shall be equipped to explain the birds and the bees when the time comes. But I hope that time is quite a while off yet. I am all ears. Though I never cared for that phrase. A rather... unsettling image. I am glad you and Karlak have an enduring friendship. It shall serve as a strong lesson for the children, as well as a stirring tale. Now, it would be cruel of me to hoard you all to myself for the evening, as much as I would like to. I shall leave you to the others for now, unless there was anything else. Our community grows rapidly. In six months, we have turned what was once a shadowy wasteland into a true home for all. In another six months, I would wager the scars of the past will be entirely invisible, even to those who remember them. The old masonry of Moonrise Towers and Rythwin have been repurposed into new homes, and the land is rich with harvests and bountiful trees. Nature and civilization are in harmony. Stronger together. It is, truly. Though a more complex, evolving beast than I could ever have anticipated. 
I spoke often of balance before. Only now do I realize the balance is no simple, fixed thing. We welcome folk from all walks of life. Anyone who wishes for a new start. Naturally, it can be chaotic at times, but it is a thrilling sort of chaos. It thrives in ways I could never have dreamed of. As am I. I may age more slowly than most, but I do believe I've gained some new laughter lines of late. <laughs> Quite often. They come and go as they please, but with so many playmates to avail of, <laughs> they are far from strangers. They ask after you often. What you did for them will never be forgotten. I can see it in the land all around me. But more importantly, I see it in their faces whenever they visit. To make a child smile is to dabble with the power of gods as far as I'm concerned. I spend half my days in ursine form. The children demand it. I had a score of them taking turns riding upon my back just days ago. <sighs> I'm glad they are so comfortable with the Oak Father's creations. But they must learn that not all are as amiable as I am. A lesson for another time, though. They deserve some joy. As for roaming, that impulse has dwindled, I must admit. Perhaps because I have found where I am meant to be. As did I, but... Somehow I feel like I no longer need to roam. That I have found something worthy laying roots for. Amazing what can be discovered about oneself, even at a ripe old age. On occasion, but I prefer not here. Francesca of the High Forest is Archdruid now, and by all accounts, she has proven to be a steady and wise influence. Even Korga may yet find true balance, thanks to her influence. Uh, before you go, I have something for you. Just a little keepsake, really. Do you remember how I told you I like to whittle? I made this. <laughs> Ducks are my favorite, but I thought they were particularly fitting in this case. They are migratory birds, of course, traveling far and wide with the turn of the seasons. Yet, they always find their way back to where they belong just like old friends find themselves back in each other's company. Oh, I am well aware, trust me. Now, I've taken up enough of your time. Go on, enjoy the festivities. You're happy, the god of ambition. Have you ever heard anything more ridiculous? Cassus himself. He and his bloody crown. And you, for that matter. The Gale I knew wasn't like this. He recognized his mistakes. He was contrite. All he wanted to do was live. 
Unfortunately, he fell into company that turned his gaze toward foolishness. Yes, I mean you. Then you're just as mad as he. You'd best not have any plans to follow in Gale's footsteps. One god at this gathering is quite enough. in his mouth. <laughs> so am I. I've got a nice home in the city now. A girl named Mindy says I'm her best friend. She's mine too. Also you. I've got so many best friends, I hardly know who to snuggle. I missed your smell, but this thing I found had you all over it. I, I brought it for you. And I thought, perhaps you'd like to throw it? I certainly have, and I always will. Forever, I think. And so will you. You know best, but a little fetch never hurt anyone, as far as I know. Tenterhook, so you could make a dramatic entrance, is it? Starting to wonder if you'd show up. In all likelihood, it will be. But we mustn't let that stop us. Oh, come here, will you? It's been forever. Hmm. You feel a little more... substantial than before. Less camping and scrounging off the land, I take it. I suppose I do, don't I? I'm glad you seem well. Trudy. I had no doubt. But I'm glad to hear you say it all the same. I found a little cottage. Abandoned, half ruined. There's a lot of such places to be found thanks to the Absolute's armies. I've been making it my own. It's harder work than I'd expected, actually. I'll never take vegetables for granted after all the effort it's taken to grow a few, but... Still. It's mine. Well, mine and the lodgers. Four dogs, eight cats, Nine chickens, six pigeons, four sheep, a milk cow named Daphne, a squirrel who's far too clever for her own good, and a wolf cub I found orphaned in some woods. I've had to do far worse things with my hands. Trust me. This is no burden at all. 
I don't think I've ever slept more soundly than I have with my menagerie of beasts for company. Just don't tell House in that, or he'll want an invitation. Healing. Learning to live again. It's hard to think of all that was robbed from them, but they're intent on making every day count for double. My mother's mind still drifts every now and again, but she has more good days than not so good days. She taught me her recipe for apple and plum pie, and when I tasted it, I actually remembered it from when I was a little girl. Some things can't be taken from you, it seems. Father's making himself useful. Helping me fix up the cottage and caring for the animals. You should see the amount I have now. He's been waiting years for this. Now he can't stop smiling. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling. Family life and pastry recipes probably aren't the most interesting topics for such a... Historic reunion. As am I. And no small bit surprised, also. Part of me is afraid I'll wake up from the dream and find myself back in the wilds, or worse, at the cloister. But no, it's real. Must I? You presume a great deal. I'm joking. Of course I want to know. Tell me all. Do you ever rest? Think of all those poor, budding adventurers looking to make a name for themselves. Take some time off and give them a chance, why don't you? Hopefully, these meetups will become a regular occurrence. It's not that I miss the tadpoles, but at least it brought us together. Now we've got to make the extra effort ourselves. I'm sure we will. Let's be proactive about it all the same. We're more than capable. After all, we've faced down bigger threats than wrangling together a few social calendars. Don't be a stranger. to turn up. I wasn't sure our withered old friend could live up to his promise. But here we are. And you're looking more delicious than ever, if you don't mind me saying. Whatever you've been doing with your time, it clearly worked wonders. You've become a traveler and a vagabond. <laughs> a soul after my own heart. But I'm glad to see the world has treated you well. You've earned it. We both have, in fact. And where better to celebrate our good fortune? An old haunt with old friends. <laughs> exactly what I feared. Without the protection of our little friends, I was just an ordinary spawn again. Burning in the sun. I fled the dark and found refuge in the shadows until night fell. I'm sorry I, I didn't seek you out that night. I felt... <laughs> ashamed. Like I'd lost everything just as you claimed your victory. I didn't want you to see me like that. But time lent perspective. It wasn't your victory, it was ours. And for all I'd lost, I'd gained so much more. 
I had freedom, strength, a whole new life. And it was time to live it. <laughs> I've taken a turn as an adventurer and hero. <laughs> It turns out no one actually cares about murder, as long as you murder the right people. And apparently, I'm rather good at it. Yes, but you say all sorts of things. Honestly, I don't even listen half the time. It has made for a nice change, though. Inspiring hope in people, instead of terror. Well, I do try to inspire a little terror. I'm still me, after all. <laughs> no, this is all me. I swear. Don't get me wrong. I was a mess at first. Every day I yearned for the sun and mourned my curse to live in the shadows. But in time, I realized that darkness is as much a part of me as my fangs. This is only a curse as long as I refuse to embrace the shadows. So, I decided I would. I decided not to be defined by the choices other people made, by what other people did to me. My past may be done, but my present, my future, they're mine. This is who I am, in all my glory, for better and for worse. That being said, I haven't completely given up on returning to the sun. If the opportunity presented itself, well, I wouldn't say no. But until then, I am happy. We've had quite the journey, you and I. From the moment I first threatened you, I knew you were someone special. Someone to take on the world with. I will miss our time together. But then again, maybe this isn't goodbye. So much as it's, um, see you later, darling. Ah, breathe deep, Boo! The smell of heroes sings from every stone in this place. Ah, to meet again where your journey began, my friend. An honor. For Minsk and his hamster both. Oh, and for Happy also. Ah, uh, yes. Um, honored, of course. See how your very presence snatches the breath from his chest? And it is no wonder. It is just this day that Happy learned of your legend, while we gazed down upon the very city you saved. He dangled me from the high hall, upside down, for two hours. Eh, the guild should not go creeping in high places if they do not have the stomach for them, hmm? It is well for Happy the strange portal appeared when it did. Minsk's arm was growing exome. So I have. Though it is a piece made more from blade and boot than it is any sense of brotherhood. Nine fingers forbade any looting of the Illithid's fleshy vessels. And so Minsk guards what remains of the battle site. Even from her. But where Minsk might once have thrown any sneaking scoundrels from the tower top, now I tell them of you. How you ruled the wickedness within. How they might do the same. Yes, yes, I'll rule it. I'll be better. Oh, of course. It is still for Boo to decide if they live or die. Oh. Oh, God. But enough, my friend! I cannot tell your tale if I do not know the whole of it. Minsk and Boo would know where you have been, what you have done. Mm. 
No, no, my friend, do not begin this. It is too early in the evening for tears and passing boo around for the blowing of noses. First, I must educate this sneak thief on the company he keeps. Will Ravenguard, the Blade of Frontiers, Devil Horned and Angel Hearted. Lazel of Cress Killer, true child of Gith and true friend to Boo. Though she will and say it is not so. Astarian, who is banished by the sun itself for fear his Spanish soul might outshine it. We visit him much down in the dark places, though he often moves his lair without remembering to tell Min Square. Gael, who now names himself a god, though in truth, Minsk has known few wizards who did not think of themselves so. Shadowheart, two gods dogged at her soul, but she managed to keep it all for herself in the end. Wait, Boo, did, did she do something with her hair? Halsin, archdruid of archers somewhere. He is a much better man than he smells. And there, the champion of the hells herself. Karlak Demon's Bane, Devil's Bane, Merkul Ball and Bane Bane. Once the guild is made of good names once more, Bull shall scratch the hells wide open and find a way to bring her back. And finally, Jahira. If this is a name you do not already know, then not even Boo can save you. Study them well, sneak thief. For the best among them will be a guide for your guild. Heroes who put the city before themselves. Who never falter in their duty. And more than this, who never arrive to a party without even a gift for the host. But wait! Go, my friend. Be among our friends. There is much work yet to be done before this one is fit to join them. This one night is like any other, and yet different. Thou art the savior of Boulder's Gate. Until such time it requires saving again. How dost thou feel? If thou could only see the paths of fate untaken, thy mind would enjoy the revelry of the day. Thou deservest at least what indeed. Prick up thy ears and listen. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. Thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself. But for every thread you sewed, so did the gods unravel another. 
sleep, rest, revel, but be ready, for thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, problems worth solving. To you. Time for me to return to the heavens. The question is, do you wish to go with me to become a god at my side? That is for you to decide, my love. Ambition made me what I am. What drives you, we have yet to discover. Your domain will come to you as you settle into divinity. I can't wait to see what you'll become. Then follow my lead. Close your eyes. How do you feel? And that's just the beginning. I have so much more to show you.